All right, folks, welcome. Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound, always a pleasure. Let's go ahead and kick this light off here. Ooh, it's too dark. Uh, I don't have my ring light on, but we're gonna do um, we're gonna do this. Uh, this is a um, uh, just a video, right? <laughs> uh, I've been uh, I've been told by one of my live coin Q and A counterparts that the U.S. Mint has um, has uploaded its 2023 product schedule. Uh, so if you're on the main U.S. Mint website. And uh, you go to product schedule, it'll have all three on there now. So you still have 2021, which believe it or not, you could still you could still order a few things from 2021. Um, mostly it's like proof sets, mint sets, some of the regular stuff that didn't sell out. Uh, 2022 and 2023. Uh, let's do this real quick. Uh, 2022, you do have still quite a few of these products still available and going all the way down to the bottom, which is the end of the year, uh, limited edition silver proof set as predicted is still available as of this video, uh, which is, we are at October 28th and this thing's been out for, uh, three days, four days, somewhere around there. So if you're looking for a little bit of a last minute gift idea, the limited edition silver proof set is still on board with eight total silver coins. So that is still available. Uh, product limit of 50K. That's not the mintage because these are all coins that have seen um, some sort of release in 2022. All right. So this is more of a compilation of some of the more desired triple nine fine silvers and uh, again it's it's more um uh, more geared towards folks that that want uh that either collect this type of set every year and which hasn't been around for that long uh or if they're looking for a gift idea which i if i received this as a gift that would be pretty cool <laughs> so not too bad. Uh, I did order one, and uh, I did just get old slow mail on that, so I'll probably end up getting it here next week or two. Um, and that will be one of my holiday giveaways. We'll actually give that away here on the live coin Q&A channel. So any sort of associated giveaways from Blue Ridge Silver Round, we're going to funnel it through the live coin Q&A channel. If you haven't subbed there, you should. Because that that channel is off the chain. It's lit. And you can bet your bottom dollar that uh, the the panel, the folks that put that site all together is going to uh, rock it out in 2023. All right, 2023, that's why we're here. Let's go ahead and uh, peruse everything here. Now, you're going um, to go through this and see that they they just added this particular part of the website client um and they did it did it as basic as possible like they didn't add anything extra there's not even any preview images of any of the offerings for next year uh but let's go ahead and kind of like stroll down here this is actually my first time checking things out um and usually though they do a pretty good job at kind of like throwing the bulk or most of the products that they are going to sell for the entire year. Uh, even though a, a good chunk of them at this stage of the game has no definitive um, available sell date. Um, you know, kind of like this one here, the American Innovation $1 coins uh, for Ohio releases January 30th. So that's the first product to be released by the U.S. Mint uh, next year. Follow that up with uh, rolls, bags, and boxes of the same program. Now, the difference between these two, I believe, is that uh, one is no one is the Native American, the other is American Innovation. All right, so the American Innovation, of course, is like inventions and things like that. 
um, that they've put on there. I've bought a few of them, but not, it's not my particular cup of tea unless you're really digging that series. Some people buy them because they're collecting it. They, they're getting a roll of each. Um, they are pretty limited production. Uh, this is not something that, you know, you're going to have to worry about a high, high mintage count on these. Uh, generally it's going to be a few million of each, uh, design and each mintage. Uh, but you know, as you can see, they'll have the, um, the 25 coin rolls of P and D and also the hundred coin bags. Uh, I, as you guys remember, I did that, um, hundred coin bag reveal of one of the, I think it was the Rhode Island American innovation. It was uh complete and utter dog poop. Uh, so native American, which is another dollar coin. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's the coin that nobody asked for, <laughs> you, you know, you could say the same about the American innovation. Although I kind of wish they did the American innovation instead of the presidential dollar series. I think, um, when 2007 was was rolled around before they even decided to do the presidential dollar series um you know there were mixed reactions but the reactions toward the american innovation has been more favorable but it, it's the program was kickstarted and released at a horrible time when nobody really gave a shit anymore about the dollar coins all right um, yeah, keep that in mind as we talk through this, uh, February 13th, we have another James Buchanan presidential silver medal. So if you're a collect them all type of collector, uh, that one is obviously going to, going to be on your list. Um, we have more American women quarters love starting February 14th. We have the Bessie Coleman rolls and bags. That are going to be rele released uh, during this time. And a uh, little word of warning. Um, these probably have been sold out through the enrollment program. Unless they decide to bump up the production a little bit. Uh, and the big reason why is those S-Mint coins. They don't want to produce too many of them and not sell out. Alright, so that's that's kind of part of the reason why those particular roles this year in 2022 have been selling really well. And, um, you know, I would expect somewhat to that remain the course. Although I feel like that, that these three roll sets might be losing a little bit of its punch on the secondary market. We've kind of seen the last few releases just really not command as much money. Um, even though the availability is limited. Uh, but if you think that you're going to go on the mint, website and order these at day one during the first like two minutes of this thing going live you're probably not going to get them uh, because a lot of the allocation is pushed into the enrollment program and that's maxed out the um the availability of those roles on the website so like i did before i tried ordering these um it was probably the Sally rides. I tried ordering them and they were, it, they were sold out even though I hit add a cart, um, like within the first 30 seconds and it actually went through up until you get to the checkout process and it says, Oh, these are not available. Anyways, continuing on, uh, we have the first amendment to the United States constitution platinum proof coin. So this is something new. Uh, the platinum coins, in kind of a nutshell, uh, have lost a lot of their um, desirability. Um, I, I mean, you know, the, the PM in this case, and again, platinum is more of an industrial metal than anything else, is just fine. Um, it's just, you know, if you want it, you could get it. And uh, I think at this at this stage, palladium is a little bit more desirable of a of a PM uh, that people prefer on these commemorative coins. Uh, so we have. February 28th, we got the new American Eagle one ounce silver proof coin. That'll be out. This will be minted in West Point. Uh, limited production uh, will most assuredly sell out at some point. Uh, February 28th, we got the congratulations set, which this thing, I forgot what the congratulations set is, but it's nothing really spectacular. They, they offer this every year. And then we are getting into the spring months 
Now, if you haven't been blown away yet, what's crazy is when you look at this first first two months of release, you're like, shouldn't they have like a commemorative coin somewhere in there like they did the last few years? And there's none in there unless you decide to kind of add the First Amendment to the United States platinum proof coin. But that thing's going to be pricey, you know, it's not like it's going to be under a hundred dollar coin. Um, unless you add this in as kind of a pseudo commemorative, uh, I, there's no commemorative on this list, which is, it blows my mind. That's the first spring 2023. Let's just assume that the spring starts in March for their calendar of release. Uh, Mayor Abraham Lincoln presidential silver medal. So we're continuing that on. Uh, we have the American Buffalo 2023 one ounce gold proof coin. That's a staple of the U.S. Mid website every year. American Eagle 2023 gold proof four coin set, which will have the four different denoms from um, from one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, and what's the last one? Uh, one eighth or whatever, one tenth, one tenth of an ounce. Uh, so you'll have all four of those in one set. Generally low production. Uh, probably a few thousand sets will be made. American Eagle, half ounce, one ounce, one ounce silver. This is just a regular uncirculated coin, although this is the West Point minted one. Uh, that'll be available sometime during the spring. Uh, we have the more of the American Eagle one quarter ounce gold proof coin. Somehow that kind of got shoehorned in here between, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, everything's all a little bit jumbled on here. So I don't know the, the they're not going to tell you the exact order of when these will be released until that time comes American Eagle, one tenth ounce. Um, and then we have more American, you know, uh, this time Louisiana. So you get, uh, rolls and bags, all business strike. They are NIFCs, which they're not produced for circulation. Uh, we have the American Women Quarters 2023 proof set, which are all clad in copper nickel. Uh, San Francisco crafted American Women Quarters. Uh, the Edith Kanaka Ole uh, sounds like a Hawaii quarter, uh, which is what we're going to see in the springtime. So that's quarter number two. Uh, here's that silver proof set for the American Women Quarters. Uh, here's the Army two and a half ounce silver medal. Uh, they always seem to add one of these to the mix every year. Uh, thing is massive. It's a chunk. Candy 2023 half dollar 200 coin bag. Two roll set. P&D. Uh, American Eagle 2023 one ounce gold unk coin. Which will be the first release of the summer. Along with another American Innovation dollar. This time for Indiana. American Innovation 2023 rolls and bags for Mississippi. Uh, as you can see, pretty big gap. So one will be released in probably June. The second one here for Mississippi will be released sometime in August or early September. American Liberty one ounce, uh, gold proof coin West point minted always a staple every year. Uh, another American Liberty one ounce silver proof metal, uh, American women quarters ornaments, Summertime. So the ornaments are like Christmas tree ornaments. So we have those currently available on 2023. And I believe 2021 is still available as well as the tape taping of this video. Uh, American Women Quarters 2023 Rolls and Bags. Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, American Women Quarters 2023 Rolls. The Jovita Idar, uh, which is number three. Andrew Johnson, Presidential Silver Medal, Yawn, um, Armed Forces, One Ounce Silver Medal. That that lo should look interesting. All right, so here's kind of like the meaty part of this list. Uh, so the Unk, Morgan, and Peace Dollars are going to be released during the summer. So we see these two here, and they're going to be minted in Philadelphia. But beyond this, where are the other Morgan Dollars? All right. Uh, I don't see them on the list, so maybe they're further down. Are they, they, again, these are available on the enrollment program. They, all of them are still available. Uh, they, they're not quick to sell out <laughs> anymore. 
um, based uh, due to the fallout of the the release from 2021, where they decide to to pull the old switcheroo and do a pre order style uh, type of listing as opposed to just selling it when it's ready. So people had to wait like three, four, five months to get their coins, and some of them were just incredibly bad quality, like the Denver Mint and some of the uh, Omits, the New Orleans coins. All right, so those are going to be sometime in the summer. I would speculate probably July or August. Um, 2023 proof set, which is all clad. Silver proof sets coming in thereafter. San Francisco minted. Uh, the uncirculated set during the summer. Uh, so you see the, the proof, clad proof set, silver proof set, and the unk set are all going to drop during this three-month period during the summer, which is different. Uh, because the some of the coins are generally released earlier in the year american eagle 2023 one ounce palladium so there's your palladium coin right there that's gonna be one of the first headliners during the fall american eagle 2023 one ounce silver proof this time san francisco here's another american innovation proof set so this is all four coins released for the year and they also have a reverse proof set if you guys dig that uh, quarter number four for the American Women Quarters, Maria Tall Chief uh, will be in there as well. Bags and rolls. Um, as of right now, the enrollments are all sold out of the American Women uh, Quarters, especially the three roll set. Uh, another Armed Forces Marine Corps Silver Medal. It should be pretty neat. Uh, here's your limited edition 2023 Silver Proof set, like the one that released a few days ago. Mighty Mentors 2023 Ornament. That looks like another holiday seasonal thing. And then here's the balance of the other Morgan and Peace Dollar releases. Uh, so you got the Proof Coin that's minted in San Francisco. Will be coming out sometime next fall. Uh, the one that everybody's waiting for or going to be anticipating is going to be the Reverse Proof Set. This one ought to be interesting. I'm not going to say it's a definitive buy. Um, because they are still available in the enrollment um, as of right now, and we are in October of 2022, and the Peace Dollar Proof Coin. Uh, so these are going to be the three main headliners um, for next fall. We'll see how that goes, and then to kind of round things out, the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Silver Medal, and the 2023 Holiday Ornament, uh, which normally is like a quarter in the middle of the thing so that is your 2023 lineup and usually usually i would say within the last two years the u.s mint has stayed kind of true and positive to what they have on here like there's no last minute change to add a new product in there uh although oh man what an underwhelming lineup um the only thing that i would say uh, that would probably spark this one are the Morgan and Proofs. Again, people are very salty about the 2021 release, which is the primary reason why that the uh, er enrollments currently happening right now are not sold out, especially the two coin reverse proof set, which I think will be the bell of the ball of the whole bunch. So I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what quite to make up, uh, make of the product lineup for next year. Um, I, I mean, one of the things that, that I could possibly say is that it, it's, it's a very restrained list. Like, like they're, they're wanting to stay on this average kind of plane to atone for previous customer service issues and quality issues. Um, and this, unfortunately, this might be something that will probably continue on beyond 2023. I could possibly see 2024 being just as uninspiring for for a product lineup as it is in 2023. Now, the worst is this year, 2022. There's not one any one product that's a standout. Um, there's some attractive looking coins like the Purple Heart Commemorative that a lot of people have uh, really hyped about and uh, really said good things about and I agree the coin is very attractive but again it's not that kind of like marquee piece that that generates a lot of buzz and I think this is all done 
on purpose um, to, to to really, you know, kind of reset things a little bit for them. And, uh, you know, I unfortunately, this looks like it could be the trend. Uh, I, I know that the mid director has uh, has come out and said publicly that she wants the overall quality of not only the product, but the experience of dealing with the U.S. men, whether it's through the website or customer service, has to be at its highest level before they decide to move forward with anything groundbreaking. So, it you know, this sounds like something, this sounds like a monumental project uh, on her behalf, and I hope it goes well um, because, yeah, there's really nothing that that's really like, like grabbing me and saying you need to buy this. There is absolutely 100% not a thing on the list for 2023 that's saying I'm unique and different by me. Um, you know, I, I could go at any one time, at any point, go to like uh, the, the Royal Canadian Mint or even the Royal Mint or the Perth Mint. All of these uh, other mints that continuously crank out unique product, low mintage limits, you know, and and high resale value. Uh, and I, and I asked myself, well, why isn't the U S mint doing this? Well, they're, um, they're kind of handcuffed to the legislature that a lot of these coins require to pass. Um, and you know, no other country deals with this sort of thing. That's why you could go and order something from the Perth mint that has, a Marvel character on it or another one that has Popeye on it. You know, it's like they, they're, they're somehow some way their ability to grab a hold of all of these popular kids intellectual properties is really doing a lot better of an outcome for them through their sales. So, you know, the U S mint is certainly one that I think falls behind on a lot of aspects. And, uh, you know, if this is really truly a play of keeping it safe or keep it simple, you know, then they've truly achieved at it. Um, and again, you know, it's it's like there's not one thing that I'm going to say. I'm going to go out and get it, right? Um, because still a lot of stuff today is overpriced. There's no free easy tendies out there. Uh, not only from buying stuff like this and trying to flip it, that that's not there. That's not existent. But there's no, like, government money coming in. For people to support buying any of the stuff that you see here, plus all of the things that happened, you know, within the last like three, four years, um, you know, not being able to order a product, even though you're the first one there because of some server issues. And, you know, it's just, it, it's really, really an unfortunate situation. And, and when you look at, when you look at the optics of what's trying to be rectified here. It's nothing that's going to be an overnight thing. This is going to easily take four to five years um, just to get it right size to the point where it could be a comfortable experience to get on, to hop on and order some of this stuff and feel 100% happy to have the product. Because I don't think there's a lot of people that are 100% proud to own a U.S. Mint product today. Um, it's more out of investment for its silver and gold, precious metal contact, uh, uh, than necessity. Like, there's nothing here that you would need, you know? So, that's why I wanted to talk about, kind of, uh, you know, shoot through all of the new product offerings for 2023. Uh, again, check out the enrollment. Um, you know, if there's anything that you do particularly dig, uh, you could do that. And then be guaranteed to be in line to obtain some of those items. Um, however many times they decide to, you know, release them, but I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Uh, was there anything particularly that stood out to you about 2023 us mint products? Uh, would love to hear them. Uh, go ahead and, uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, but I think that might do it for this one. Um, so there you go. We, we have a sniff, a taste of 2023, products you can always check it out on the u.s mint website um again the information is very limited uh, you know they they didn't again there's no photos or even conceptualized drawings of any of this stuff 
Um, and that's going to keep a lot of folks in the dark until about first, first of the year, you know? So anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it. I'm your host, Sean. You go, you guys take care. Happy hunting and, uh, coinaholics. We are discovering together daily. All right. I'm out. Have a good evening. Have a great weekend and, uh, have a safe and happy Halloween. So long.